the monument of virtual data and the hallucination of reality. In the age of artificial general intelligence, the omnipresence of media has created a monument of virtual data an enormous resource that inevitably contains the memory of degeneration and the degeneration of memory itself. This accumulation, where fact and fiction blur, functions like a form of cultural imperialism, relentlessly filling every interstice of our reality. The bombardment of a language of signs, now devoid of significance, transforms our perception. Art, once a profound exploration through image, has become a mere negotiation of influence, expressed through signs and postures that sustain established structures of control. The Media Medusa and the Museum of the Dead symbolize this transformation, where the omnipresence of media overwhelms us with signs of lost significance. Speak white and loud, they say a language for hiring, giving orders, and appointing the hour of death in the works and of the break that refreshes. The freeness is turning people into beasts. In this context, artificial general intelligence, teleschizophrenic phenomena, and telenoia emerge. An accumulation of memory, both backwards and forwards in time, where fact and fiction are difficult to differentiate, underscores this cultural imperialism. This resulting monument of virtual data, represented as an underground bunker in downtown Manhattan filled with hundreds of cameras and bunk bed pods, highlights the paradox. Your reality is already half video hallucination. If you're not careful, it will become total hallucination. You'll have to learn to live in a very strange new world. Art in the public domain no longer represents an exploration through image but a negotiation of influence, sustaining an established structure of control systems. The Media Medusa and the Museum of the Dead stand as testament to this shift, encapsulating the bombardment of signs and the erosion of significance.